Today we have the privilege of talking to one of the authors of a quite extraordinary book called The Buddha's Wife. And Janet Surrey, what do we know about The Buddha's Wife? <laughs> Actually very little because uh, we know there was a historical Buddha who yes. lived quite a long time ago and uh, we don't know much of the details of his family story. There are a few mentions in the early texts of the suttas, of the teachings yes. of the Buddha, and that's what we began with. The rest yes. of the book is a historical fiction yes. um, based on a, really a spiritual parable for our time, as the Buddha's story was a spiritual parable for his time. For his time. Yes. So what you're doing here is very clever because you're imagining this story, which is the standard story in the sutras, isn't it, that the Buddha abandoned his wife and child and went on his spiritual journey alone, um, alone mm -hmm. and then only reconnected with them much, much later. And but no you, longer as Siddhartha, but uh, as exactly, the Buddha. That's, the, uh. that's right. And you're weaving this together with a personal story of you and the co-author, Samuel Shem, <laughs> And, and, and many others. And that and many others too on, on the way. So what you see here is that, can I sum it up in the following way, that it's the way in which, in this case, the man and the woman discover each other or rediscover each other. Is that a good way to put it? The, the story is really the other side of his story. Yes. Her story is the story of awakening together. Uh, he left, they re-met each other, but they were never reunited. No. Steve right. and I, our story is <laughs> many leavings right. and reconnections yes. over, oh, yes. as all relationships right. really uh, are. I, I often are, that's, yeah. that's right, yes. So. Um, let's now try to, to see what would be the reason why people should read a book like this. Mm -hmm. In one sense, you're adding a dimension to the Buddhist story, mm -hmm. or the story of Buddhism, mm -hmm. which is not very much emphasized. There are very few traditionally Buddhist countries that have women, monks, nuns. Mm -hmm. well, and, and the male monastic tradition has been the central that's tradition right, the carrying central tradition. the teachings. That, that's yeah. right. And yet, what you're saying is that there is another view which is actually interesting partly because, I mean this is an obvious cliche, men and women are different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's a different psychology mm -hmm. uh, that has to be taken into account there. Well, it's really his story is a patriarchal story of yes. one who goes right. forth alone as a heroic journey and comes back as the mature teacher, hmm. always above all. Yes. And yes. having achieved under the Bodhi tree alone this state of enlightenment, right. um, which was extraordinary, and his teachings have been a beacon for thousands, millions over the years. Yeah. But there are many who don't quite uh, identify with that story yes. and might find yes. that their true connection to the wisdom teachings and to spiritual path is mm -hmm. through and toward greater connectedness with yes. others. Yes. And that what we believe is that this represents a hidden aspect of the path, more right. slightly diminished or invisible, slightly neglected, yes. that is really necessary for our time that the right. Thich Nhat Hanh has said the next Buddha may be the Sangha or the, the community. Sangha itself, that is the community. Yeah. Yeah. How has the traditional Buddhist community tended to react to this? Mm -hmm. Well, it's interesting. I think um, generally those who know us, know me as a teacher, yes. uh, take it seriously and are yeah. interested, but those who don't, wonder if this is going to be critical of the Buddha yes, or heresy yes, or yes. Uh, uninformed feminism, yes. <laughs> right. which can't be listened and, to, and, and which, taken seriously. You would say it's none of those. No, I yeah, don't think so. Right. Well, that's clear. Yeah. Um, well, thank you very much for sharing these yeah, thoughts yes. with uh, Voices from Oxford. It's a pleasure I to be here. I have a suspicion that many people will be wanting to read a very, very interesting book indeed. Thank, thank you. you very much.